Welcome back, writing community and people of the internet, wherever you are right now. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video, um, sort of as a follow-up to what I said on Twitter about, you know, how I wanted to do more YouTube videos, but at the same time, I'm very self-conscious and I feel like maybe someone with my face <laughs> and my lisp and my voice shouldn't be doing videos, but you know what? Um, beep that. Uh, I'm gonna do it anyway because I've always wanted to do this. So uh, for tonight's video I was thinking maybe I would just kind of do a quick little rundown of my editing process since I'm currently in the middle of editing one of my books. Um, and I, I think it's interesting because one of the questions I get asked a lot is what is your writing process like what is your editing process like and the answer is that it changes all the time with every book every story is a little bit different so for tonight's video i'm going to keep it short and sweet and simple no seriously i promise i will this time uh and i'm going to show you very quickly what it looks like right now editing our infinite depth which is a story that's coming out this summer uh it's kind of like a short little teen ya romance you know that kind of stuff so without further ado i will show you how it is that I go through the process of editing a novel for publication. All right, here we go. So first thing I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to open the document. You can already have it up here. Yes, I do. Let's open this and see where we are. All right, so I've already gotten several chapters into this, um, but what I'm gonna do is just kind of show you very quickly what it looks like when I turn on my text-to-speech function, which is basically where I get my computer to read the text back to me so I can hear any sort of mistakes or omissions or anything like that. All right, so step one is we have to highlight the areas that we want the AI to dictate back to us. Uh, normally, I only go a couple paragraphs at a time. That way, if I do catch a mistake, I don't have to listen to the entire page or the entire chapter and then remember where the mistake was. So we'll just start with this. Then we go down here to option escape. Chapter 12. Hours pass, but Dad doesn't call. He and Vince have been gone for so long. I'm starting to think they went back to Vince's hometown. Now I see why his mom was so worried. And Rick, he must have already known what Vince was dealing with. That's why he dumped him here. Why he felt the need to drop in unannounced. All those nights Vince drove me to the pool could have put us both in the hospital. What's going to happen when mom and dad realize he can no longer operate the tractor? I know the answer, but I can't bring myself to look it in the eyes. It hovers in my periphery like Tanya's watery figure at the end of the pool, reminding me with every breath that I'm in for a world of pain. So that's one way that I tend to edit. Um, it's actually kind of cool when I'm kind of hearing my own story back because writing is such a quiet exercise. You know, it involves so much sitting and uh, imagining and, and trying to kind of immerse yourself in the scene. Uh, so when I finally get to the point of the story where it's, where the copy is clean enough that it's like, okay, now I'm doing doing like the final run through. Um, it's, it's fun because like, now I'm I'm reading the story and I'm hearing it as a reader, not as a writer. It's like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just a completely different relationship with the words because now it's almost like it's coming to life on the page. So that's one way that I do it. Um, I'll also show you uh, what it looks like when I put it in the review pane, which is where I realize, okay, this is actually going to need a little bit more work than, you know, uh, adding or deleting words or commas or whatever it is. So I'll show you what that looks like too. Okay, so let's zoom out just a little bit here. Um, the reason it's got the black margin is because I have it in focus mode right now, um, which I don't know why, it just helps me so much more. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to make the pages really, really tiny. Let's go uh, 35% to start with. Okay. So we are now in kind of like um, a review mode as it were. Now you can see in a couple of places some red lines, some extra little bits and bobs of story that have gone in, like this right here. If you click on this page, zoom in 135% again. So this was towards the beginning of the story. 
Uh, and typically at the very beginning of the story, I find that's where most of the editing needs to be because by the time I reach the end of it, I know what I want to say. I know what the conclusion is that I'm working towards. Um, but you can see here, this part is all red because I added it after the fact. Um, you can kind of go back to and see when that change was made. So kind of helped me to keep track of how much time I spend working on something instead of just saying, oh, I think it's been about a year or two or however long so yeah um, so you can see a lot of it is already pretty satisfactory I think pretty good um, there are a couple of places still where I'm not completely sure if I want to keep that or if I want to you know change it again but we'll see I still have a long way to go with this project so there you have it, um, a very quick, hopefully that was quick enough, <laughs> um, overview uh, or video of how I edit my novels. Um, you know, as I said, like a lot of people do have different ways of doing it. Like some people really like to print out the actual hard copy and edit by hand, which is something that I used to do when I was a lot younger. Um, and now I just feel like this just expedites the process. So I, I tend to do more of my work on the computer than by hand. Although uh, during the storm this past weekend, uh, which I'm sure you heard about, I was <laughs> forced to hand write a chapter in another book, um, which was kind of nice in a way because, you know, you can get so used to doing things a certain way that um, sometimes it hinders your creativity. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably keep trying to make videos because as I said, I like doing this kind of stuff. I like doing videos and uh, like promotional stuff, banners, whatever, what have you, trailers. <laughs> um, and you know, I also don't want that voice in my head that tells me I shouldn't be doing videos to actually convince me that I shouldn't be doing videos because it's wrong. Anyway guys, uh, wherever you are, I hope you're doing well and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.